What do you know about the Deathly Hallows? The reason they're on this journey is much bigger than any one of them. It is rumoured there are three. This is Harry's last chance to finish the Voldemort problem once and for all. Here we have Harry, Ron and Hermione on the run and they're trying to find the keys to defeating Voldemort and they don't really know how they're going to do it. They have nobody to turn to other than each other. It really brings home the magnitude of the sacrifice that Hermione and Ron make for Harry and for their friendship. It's such a scary and unpredictable kind of world now where kind of anyone could be working for Voldemort. I must be the one to kill Harry Potter. Voldemort is on the cusp of absolute power. He just needs to deal with Harry Potter. Given the prophecy, Harry always assumed that he's going to come off worse. He's always known that it has to come to a head at some point. Something's got to give. Harry Potter. Harry is aware that this is probably going to be it. The boy who lived, come to die. All roads lead to Hogwarts, ultimately. Saving the wizarding world. It's a war. Action! Stakes are higher, and under these extraordinary circumstances, when everyone's life is on the line, they turn to these incredible kind of heroes. Why do you live? Because I have something worth living for. All these battle sequences, and to see the Great Hall just destroy, really, kind of, all this rubble everywhere. It's quite shocking, actually. The whole second part is relentless. It's a really, really fast ride. It's going to be so much action, so much fighting, but in a good, kind of in an epic way. This is what we've been waiting for. Everyone has to kind of stand and be counted. From start to finish, your heart's going to race. The audience will be, like, holding their breath. <gasps> They're going to make it. You really don't have a chance.